We'd like to welcome you to the championship game of the 2018 Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. We've seen a lot of games this weekend. My name is Drew Ebanks alongside Elias Biet. Elias, we're ready. We've seen a lot of games. We just saw the bronze medal game won by Thorn Lee. And now it's time for the money game. Father Henry Carr Prep hosts this tournament, they want this championship. Orangeville Prep, the visitors, they want it too. I mean, we got we got good size on the floor right now. They match up really well. I think, I think there's a bit of advantage for Orangeville just in terms of overall roster. We spoke on this on multiple occasions. You have four national team players legitimately on the court right now. Four out of five Orangeville players are national team, whether it's eight, U18, 17, 16, or whatever. Coach looking for a travel there on Moncrief. Thought he did. Giovanni Scott starting off with the three ball. I think one of the staff said he was going to start off with a dunk, Calvin. But no, he starts off with a three. And I noticed something incredible. The speed of Shamar Rattan Mays is going to be affected by Jalen Menzies, who can keep up with anybody out there. Yeah, his speed and his first step in getting to the rim, uh, finishing through contact, it's, it's really big for him. Big time matchup, Morgan with the first basket. 3-2 is your score. Orangeville Prep with the lead early. Orangeville Prep in the white jerseys with the black writing. Father Henry Carr in their royal blue jerseys and white riding. Here's Rattan Mays, can't get it to go. Alexander Moncrief with the rebound. As we mentioned, he's starting. Kulabai, Jones, Scott, oh my, and Rattan Mays. That's a big time move right there. Alexander Moncrief. This is where the studs come out to play. It's the finals. Moncrief's been quiet in the last two. I mean, they kind of coasted through, getting help from other guys. Kobe Lamb that time, getting it to go. Big bucket there. Kobe Lamb coming to play, and there's no intimidation factor here. Father Henry Carr believes that they can win their own tournament, and they have a squad to do it. Alexander Moncrief, ball fake, shot fake, no good. Here's Scott right up on top with the dunk and the post, the pose up after the slam. Now Giovanni is an electric player. He can really get you going. If, if When he's composed and in control of his emotions, he is extremely, extremely tough to stop. Oh, and there you have, nice shot. Caleb Johnson gets it done. And this game has started off exactly how we thought. 8-7 right now. FHC with the lead. Here's Rattan Mays right to the hoop and he gets fouled. Morgan with the contact. That'll be his first foul. There you have it right off the bat. Shamar Rattan Mays going to the basket and the line. And he's gonna try to get these guys in foul trouble early. So in the first quarter, not even halfway through the first quarter, he's already started the attack. First one's good, he ties it at eight. The crowd is here, it's standing room only as we said. Not quite as many as normally, uh, but I, I heard people are still trying to get in from the outside, which is great to hear. And he gets the second one to go. Orangeville with the one point lead and there they go with that press, easily beaten by FHC. I think Harding's gonna have to have a big game. He's gonna have to play aggressive. Oh, there's Lamb again, and it's a three. Kobe Lamb from the corner gives FHC the two point lead. Now you remember him from his St. Mike's days. He's always been able to hit that three ball. Already knocked in two of them. Here's Scott right to the hoop. 
so physical out there. Jones trying to get after it. Out of bounds off of Orangeville. There's Lamb playing point guard right now. Morgan, no good. Good tip. Wow, that's a great play. Menzies can't get it to go, but there's Lamb. Oh, throws it up. Can't get that. Picked up. Koulibaly. Here he comes. He of the poster dunk the last game. Looked like a travel, but he got away with it. Look at that. Hustle. Johnson, but he throws it out of bounds. Rattan Mays on the inbounds. Alexander Moncrief has to take that. Oh, throws it away. Caleb Johnson with the steal. Almost a travel. Morgan got to kick it back up top. Good kick. He's got to hit that wide open. Big shot! Kobe Lamb. Third one of the game. He's already good for nine points. Keep feeding the hot hand. That's all you could do at this point. And I believe I saw his father in the stands checking it out. Checking out his son. Big matchup right here. Jones and Harding. Oh, this is a mismatch. Charge! Giovanni Scott out of control there. Turns. He's okay though. Charge on that cut play. A smart move by Morgan. He knew, he knew fully that he was going to get his head down and attack all the way. And there you have it. We have a little break. 14-9. Timeout on the floor. Father Henry Carr leads it. We'll be right back. So stay tuned for the rest of the action from the first quarter. Welcome back to the action. First quarter, 334 left. Father Henry Carr, they lead their own tournament, 14-9. Harding, he's got to look aggressive. Here's Lamb again. Lamb, feeling it today. He is feeling it. 16-9. And I'll tell you right now, they're taking no prisoners out here. High-level ball. Both teams. Koulibaly comes out. Does he want it? No. Driving kick. Alexander Moncrief. Alexander Moncrie, the crossover, gives it up. Scott on the wing. Giovanni Scott, big jump shot, gets it done. That's a three-pointer too, 16-12. Henry Carr with the lead. And it looks like Orangeville pushed up their defense a little bit. They're going to try to take away that shot from Kobe Lamb. Baseline, this is what I want to see. I want to see Harding take on Jones. Shots out in the corner, no good. Morgan, big rebound. Moncrief. Here, Kulabali. Nice matchup with Lamb. Here's the call from Shamar Rattan Mays. He calls for the screen. Jones comes up, turns the corner. Foul there on Harding. Harding with the foul. That's his first. Team second. Father Henry Carr leads 16-12. Koulibaly. Koulibaly. Kick out. Rattan Mays, no good. Lamb with the rebound, but it's taken away the size of Giovanni Scott. Koulibaly. 
Kulabali to the hole. Nice pass to Jones. No good. Can't get that one to go. Morgan. Oh, big staple there. Scott. Rejecto. Send that one home. 16-12. The pace is frenetic. Elias, they're going back and forth. This is Giovanni's time to shine, man. He's had a really good start to this game and really setting the tone defensively. Rattan Mays. Here's Kulabali. He had the big dunk in the semifinal versus Thorin Lee. Crossover. Kick back. Alexander Moncrief takes it. And he's going to the line. Fouls on Kobe Lamb. His first. Three team fouls. This is key right now on Father Henry Carr. They have three team fouls. None. For Orangeville Prep. Alexander Moncrief with the first one. Once they take away... One, if they if they get Harding in trouble, that's the guy they're going after. If they happen to get Harding in trouble, in foul trouble, that's really going to open up the gap for them and open lanes for them to attack. Now, Kobe picked it up on that one. He's got the hot hand. You don't want him in early foul trouble either. So they got to, FHC's got to be careful in, in just how aggressive they are defensively. Look at Lamb floating up, throws up that shot. No good. Look how high he is, folks. Can't get it. Here is Orangeville. Shim. Oh boy, he was going for it. Block, big block. There's Giovanni Scott again. Active. That looked like a foul. No call. Still handling it. There's Menzies. Oh boy. Giovanni can't finish. Nice play. There's Morgan putting it up ahead. Here's Harding. Dunk that big man. Oh, Harding, you got to slam that. But there's Menzies picking up the garbage. 18 14. 54 seconds left. The kick out. Shamar Rattan Mays, he's like a quarterback out there. Tells his team, settle it down, let's set it up. Scott, Giovanni Scott, and he gets it to go. 18-14, 31 seconds left. Nice play by Scott. Just having his way, really, you know, he's able to, to get to the basket at will, you might as well. He's so physical out there. Got so much size. Here's Menzies guarded by on the zone. Alexander Moncrief. Harden's got to go strong. Oh, no foul there. That looked like contact. But he can't be discouraged. He's got to continue to do that. Koulibaly. And a charge. Koulibaly. That would have been key because Morgan already has one foul. He got lucky on that play. And Koulibaly, I, I understand that he's trying to put his head down. A straight line drive on the attack. The ref happened to catch him that time. You looked a little bit shocked at that one. <laughs> Didn't know what he saw, but of course they have another angle on the baseline that's better than ours. There you have it, 5.9 seconds left. 18-16. Here we go, here we go. Lamb right to the hoop, throws it up. And he gets it to go! Kobe Lamb! And and we're going to have to check how many points, how many points does Kobe Lamb have after one quarter? 13, 14. Oh my goodness gracious. Kobe Lamb is coming to ball here at the FHC Early Bird Prep Classic. We'll be back. Stay tuned for the second quarter. Father Henry Carr leads 20 to 16.
Welcome back to the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic Championship game. Father Henry Carr, oh my! Jalen Menzies right there, 23-16. Henry Carr led after the first quarter. What did they do good and what could Orangeville do to get back in this? I mean, Henry Carr is starting with, with Kobe Lamb just lining up on the three-point line, getting ready to lay some. Orangeville, I think, may, ooh. Giovanni Scott has just been a highlight reel here. And that was Shamar Rattan Mays going coast to coast. Giovanni Scott, if he can show Division I coaches he can play D, he's going to go a long way. He does it all. That's the thing. He can attack. He can body guys inside. He can shoot the three to some degree. Caleb just sold one, sold one to the referee. Giovanni's upset with that one. Giovanni. Caleb Johnson at the line. Misses that one. Shots good. 25-18, Henry Carr with the lead. Ball's rolling around. Orangeville prep. Shots up. Rattan Mays. Wow! From the corner baseline. You know he's come to play no matter what. That's their leader. He's the guy who's going to set up their offense. He's the guy who's going to make sure everyone stays in check. Keeps the floor balanced. And just like his older brother, when you talk about a gamer ready to play, he's definitely that guy. Justice Prentice in now, number one at point. Here's Prentice. The drive's no good. It's gonna be a foul on that play. That call is on Menzies. Jalen Menzies called for the foul. Prentice at the line. No good. No good. Harding. Harding's got to secure that rebound. Henry Carr with a four point lead. They have the inbounds. They swing it around. Shot, floater, no good. Caleb Johnson can't get it to go. Alexander Moncrief with the rebound. Who do you think the pace favors right now, Elias? I think it's in favor of Orangeville, man. They, the defense right now for Orangeville is what's been great. Travel there on MA. I think every time you take out Giovanni out of the game, you're automatically taking one of your best defensive weapons. It's tough. I mean, you got to give him a break. It's a long game. They brought in Hendricks now to be that anchor on the baseline. They got a 2-3 zone coming right now. Trying to preserve some fouls, no doubt. Here's Lamb. Let's see how Father Henry Carr works this zone, what they do to attack it. They got Johnson at the high post. There he is. Nice play. And he's got to go to dunk that. Exactly. Harden has to go and dunk that. Definitely, definitely the right intention on that one. Coming in with the right aggression. One way or another, you're either going to catch a body or you're gonna get a foul. Yeah, you have to go aggressive there, and 
Matthew Alexander Moncrief gets the foul. Harding at the line. Oh. Here's Harding again. Nice. Gets the second one to go. 26-21. Father Henry Carr with the lead. Here's a nice matchup. Oh, double team. Koulibaly. Koulibaly fakes the three behind the back. Hendricks inside. Hendricks got to take advantage. Alexander Moncrief. Nice three-pointer. He's shaking his head. He's like, finally, I got a clean look and got it to go down. I think he wanted to get off the schneid with that one. He's been waiting. Here's Lamb. Lamb had a tremendous first quarter. Oh, almost a foul. Apprentice kicks it back out. No good. Prentice picks it up. Here's Prentice. Menzies. Oh, nice block and recover by Menzies. And that's fouls on Prentice. Prentice with the foul. It's a two-point game now. Orangeville chipping away. They move it around. Nice play. Harding. He's got to be big in there. He's got to. Oh, that's a second putback. He missed. Turnover. Menzies is open. Oh, nice kick out. No good. David can't get it to go, Cameron David. That's a good look, but I mean, you can get a better shot out of that. Slow it down. You just got to steal, slow it down, set it up. Alexander Moncrief, and he's got to eat here. Hendricks throws it up, no good. I think he's got to slow down there and, and make a nice move. Menzies behind the crowd. Goaltending. Nice basket, Jalen Menzies. And I love, I love PGs that know on their way to the hoop to use the, use the glass and use the backboard, use the rim as a form of protection. So he knew that there was a guy on his back, came up on the reverse that time and used the rim to protect. So smart, so much IQ there. And then look at the size difference, right? You have to think, have an advantage against someone so long. Okay, here's the subs coming in, Brown coming in. Devaney Brown taking out party. And we got a full house in here for the championship game. Here's Bertan Mays. Nice pass. Can he get another one? No, no good on that second one. Alexander Moncrief misses. Brown, nice pass. Reverse, no good. Actually, Brown should have finished that. He kick out, Koulibaly. Oh, air ball. Here's Lamb. Kobe Lamb. Brings it back out. Oh, he wanted to shoot it. Got to be careful of the length right there for Orangeville Prep. And Kobe looked at himself like he should he should have shot that. He thought about it after it went out of bounds. He said, ah, my bad, my bad. I should have shot it. Quick release. You don't have a lot of time. You got to get it off. If you're open and you have confidence, put that shot up. Especially when you've had the hot hand and started the game like, like he has. Here comes Menzies. Oh, that looked good, but no good. Alexander Moncrief covers so much ground out there. Here's Rattan Mays on the wing. Scott, Scott with the fake. Scott to the hoop, no good. Gets his own rebound, throws it up. And the roll on the left hand. Giovanni Scott cuts it to a 28-26 game. And you see what happens when we see Giovanni back in the game. Automatically, you have more offensive rebounds. You have more second chances and finishes. Kuliabi here. That's nice. Kuliabi, what a nice play. Kuliabi right to the hole. Oh, nice play. Brown gets blocked. It's no bad land in there with all the trees. Bretan Mays on the wing. Kuliabi in. Oh, Alexander. Oh, and there's Jones. Jones with the bucket. 
And one. That's a foul on Johnson. And they take the lead. Timeout on the floor, it seems. No. No timeout. Jones is at the line. No good on that free throw. 30-28, Orangeville with the lead. Out of control, he got lucky. Lamb, right at the big man with no fear. You'd love to see that. This is an impressive performance by Kobe Lamb in this championship game. And we're just in the second quarter right now. That foul is on Cameron David. It's two team fouls for Father Henry Carter. The score is 30-30. A minute and 38 seconds left in the second quarter. Championship final, the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. There's Jones up top. Kulabali. Nice matchup with Menzies. Menzies calling for help. Oh, he can't finish, but there's Jones. The big man follows it. Here comes Lamb. Lamb on the quick. Oh, can't shoot that, but nice recovery. Johnson. Floater, Caleb Johnson. Remember, he had foul trouble the last game in the semis. They're going to need him in this game. Yeah, and it was a good decision on, the, on that one. I, th I thought he's been a little bit hesitant from what I've seen so far. But it's good that he got that shot off. I want to see him attacking more and, and looking for himself more offensively. Oh, and he gets the roll for three. Kuliabi with the... Three-pointer, he's come to play this weekend as well. He's he's definitely uh, improving his stock after this, especially that, that dunk has already been posted on Instagram. It's going to go viral out there. A lot of coaches are going to check that out. Nice kick on the baseline. Menzies just short. FHC kind of running out of gas here. I think they need the second half, uh, the second quarter buzzer right now. They could use a little bit of a break. Here's Giovanni one on one with Kobe on the spin. Pretty move, man. He's smooth. That kid is versatile. Like we said, when he has his game face on, he's playing proper. He's really, really hard to stop. It's a five point lead for Orangeville Prep. Here's Lamb. Nice hesitation and a foul. That's on Shamar Rattan Mays. Only three team fouls, though. Menzies puts it up. Oh, no good right there. And we have a score, 37-32. Orangeville Prep with the lead. We'll be back in a few moments. Please stay tuned for the breakdown of the first half. This is FHC Prep Classic. We'll be back.
Welcome back to the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic, the championship game between Father Henry Carr Crusaders and the Orangeville Prep Bears. At the half, it's Orangeville Prep leading 37-32 after trailing for most of the first half. They went on a big run in that second quarter. Elias, what are the keys for Father Henry Carr to get back into it uh, after the storm back by Orangeville Prep? Continue, continue to look for the best available shots. Uh, don't settle for the contested ones and get the ball swinging early in the shot clock to get the defense moving as much as possible. Open up, get some open looks. Here we go, Orangeville Prep takes it to start off. Kulabali, no good on that. Look at Lamb, Skies. You've got to give it up, nice pass, great play. Caleb Johnson has come to play in this game. We got to get the stats for the first half as well. We know Lamb was the leader for FHC Prep. And Giovanni Scott was a big leader for Orangeville. Jones, big basket. Harding wants that three, no good. Scott with the rebound. Inside. Big man, where's the cutters? No one cutting. Wide open lane and no one's cutting to the basket. Alexander Moncrief. Shots up, Scott, no good. Oh, there's Alexander Moncrief with the hustle. Referees say the shot clock ran out. No hoop there, but great hustle by M.A. to get to that ball. Now the shot clock didn't go off there. It should have went off. Orangeville still had it. Matthew Alexander collected and got into it a little bit with the referee there, but they sorted it all out. 39-34, Orangeville prep with the lead. Can FHC do it in their home court? Nice pass and a cut. Oh, what a play! Caleb Johnson stepping up for FHC prep. Nova Scotia products stand up. Scotia in the house and people were on Instagram saying, yo, another one. They were telling me, making sure I knew it. Another one from Scotia doing it. Kulabali, short, Harding, gotta get that rebound. Nice rebound. Lamb, look at that, turns it quick. So fast, sque speedy. He's gotta kick it, wide open. Gotta hit that, wide open. Oh, Menzies, you can't ask for a better play. Jalen Menzies, sometimes it is too open there. Alexander Moncrief. Jones fakes the drive, there's Harding. Passes it for oh nice play by Scott, unbelievable. Oh, ho. he's got a wingspan there to stop by, uh oh. And one, no travel called. Referee calls the walk. Thirty-nine, thirty-six is your score. Five twenty left. Rattan May is a bit quiet right now. I think he's going to probably start to sense he might need to pour it on for Orangeville Prep. Step back, pull up. No good. Bad shot. You don't want to take a fadeaway three like that. Definitely an ill-advised decision on that one. Crossover. Use the screen. Uh oh, oh, nice play. Here's Menzies. Buckets, too fast, too speedy. 39-38, one point lead. Jalen Menzies, big time. Rattan Mays, you don't gotta tell him twice to shoot that, he'll shoot it. Out of bounds off Orangeville Prep. It's a one point game, it's really tight. Here we go, Morgan quiet this game. Lamb, oh what a fadeaway. Whew. Floater, 
No good. Koulibaly with the rebound. Oh, nice pass. Jones. Oh, and he gets it to go. Joe Jones with the layup. It's a fast pace right now, Elias. Marcus Harding. Long two ball, but gets it to go. Those are those ones where you got to know where you're standing there because you make that shot. You need that three. But hey, it's a one point game 41 40. Thanks for tuning in. This live stream is brought to you by Ill Minds Media. And there he is, Shamar Rattan Mays. We called for it. We knew it. He senses what's happening right now. And I'll tell you, you're going to see him more active going forward. He's just a really smart guard. He knows when he's needed. And right now, they could use a little extra on offense. Raton Mays noticing that and making himself an option. What do you think has given him the confidence? We've been talking about his game over the past six months to a year. What do you think? Canada, the national team, what do you think it's come from? Yeah, it's a cultivation, I think, of, of multiple things. He's, he's played against high-level competition on the AAU circuit. He's played with Team Canada internationally. Uh, he's played at Huntington Prep for a little bit. So he, he's jumped around, and he's got a flavor of, of ball internationally, stateside, and in Canada. He knows that he can play with the best of them. Here he is again. Here he is, right to the hole. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you don't touch it, Ben. I guess it was rolling out. But he'll go to the line again, sensing his team needs him. Four-point four lead has a chance to increase it to six. 331 left. Third quarter, FHC right in this. They just need a couple stops. Rattan Mays makes the first. This is Drew Ebanks on Point Basketball alongside Elliot Spee at NorthPoleHoops.com and brought to you by Ill Minds Media. And he misses the second. Morgan with the rebound. Johnson baseline. Oh, nice play. And Harden is becoming more of a factor. He's not the strongest player out there, but he has a right mindset. He's got to get to the basket when he's in the paint. Making himself available away from the ball. You see the guys penetrating on the baseline or, or, or through the 45. He's got to be able to move and, and, and make himself, put himself in a position. Kobe right now. Kobe <laughs> Lamb. What's his vertical? It's up there, man. I, I'm going to measure it. <laughs> like when he elevates for a jump shot, it looks really, really good. And even against taller defenders, he fades away and elevates. It's different, man. I, I hope like places like Charleston Southern should be all over him. I know they're interested. They might have even offered, um, but that guy's at least a, a, a low, low major Division One prospect. Basket's good. It's 47-40. Father Henry Carr has to be careful right here. Orangeville is starting to pull away a bit. Nice ball fake. Harden. See, I think he's got to attack there. Lamb, big shot! Kobe Lamb! Three-pointer! He's increasing his stock by the second in this game right now. If, you, if coaches are watching this stream, they got to love what they're seeing from Lamb. He's got four triples in the game. He's got a bunch of twos. Good for about 20 points right now, about half of their points. Wow, big play, Scott, as he slides on his back. I love to see his effort on defense. I think it's understated how much Giovanni Scott loves to make a play on the defensive end. I love to see it. Prentice looking inside for Hendricks. Oh, Hendricks traveling. Good call. Hendricks got to be more sure of his game. See right there, Hendricks can set himself up for that mid-range jump shot, but he was kind of looking to pass it right there. 49-43, two minutes left, third quarter. I think they need Morgan to step up now. I know he had a little nick from the first game today. And there you go, wide open, got to hit that. Oh, follow it. Lamb. Lamb to the hoop, oh, throws it up, nice play. With the outstretched floater. That was on Prentice. 49-43. 138 left third quarter. This is the Father Henry Carr. Early bird prep classic. What a final this has been. And we have a lot more basketball to go. Lamb short. 
on that first free throw. They need the free throws right now, Elias. They got to get every point, make it, make it count. Pretty sure he's going to convert on this one. Usually doesn't miss two in a row from the free throws. Oh, and that's a first for Kobe. I know. He's a normally pretty surefire. Usually makes two of them. It's a big miss. Still a six-point lead. Scott. Scott the crossover. Kick back out. Rattan Mays. Rattan Mays. Pull up. No good. Here comes Morgan. Morgan loses it. Prentice, nice play. Wow, what a pass. I thought he was looking for Koulibaly, and he found the deeper man. That was an incredible look by Shamar Rattan Mays. And I always say, it doesn't matter your size when you're doing anything. It's your heart. What's your heart saying when you're out here on the court? For the 2020 class, that dude's got a heart of a lion. Shamar Rathan Mays, probably, I'm, I've been the most impressed with him throughout this tournament. Yeah, he's improved significantly, and he's still got a lot more to grow, but the confidence level is there. Here's Scott. Scott doing it on both ends. Here he is, right to the hoop. Oh, my goodness! Giovanni Scott turns the corner and crushes it. Bang out! Stock riser right there. And look at that! Look at that! Effort on defense. Nobody has affected the game as much as this kid. It's him and it's him and Rattan Mays. I love the pride he takes. I love the pride he takes on defense. Young players out there, if you want to stay on the court, you gotta get it done on both ends. Nice pass, Lamb. And it's out of bounds. Kulabali. Blocked it. Clean block. Nice play. Lamb thought he had a layup there. Couldn't get it to go. On the wing. Short. No good. Johnson can't get it to go this time. Want to shout out my man Tanvir Bular in the building, checking out all the action from his former team. Shout out the Bular family. Oh, that's good. That's a basket. Want to say a special thanks to the Health Institute as well. THI Dr. Joel Kerr in the building, taking care of all the healthcare needs. Make sure you check it out, thehealthinstitute.ca for all your healthcare needs. We'll be right back. We're going for a break. 51-46, Orangeville Prep leads the championship final of the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Welcome back to the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. And off the air, we were talking a little bit, myself and Elias Biet, about Giovanni Scott's impact. What do you see from him today? I mean, aside from four blocks and changing the momentum of the game defensively, he's, he's put in 16 points. Him and Kobe, 16 each. Ironic because they were actually former AAU teammates as well, but both of them having a really solid game here. Here's Scott again. Powers through, almost gets it to go. He's just so physically dominant. 
and he plays D. And he's looking like a top 10 prospect from what I, from everything that I've seen in the 2019 class for Canada. He's making a case for it, that's for sure. I mean, if he gets this kind of consistency every single game, every single weekend, week, every game, he'll be right there. You gotta love the intangibles though. He's got the size, but he also has a little bit of intimidation factor as well. Uh, he likes to do that. Definitely, definitely. And he's got the body for that as well. He's husky, he's strong. Oh, good on that one. Oh, Johnson with a tip. And there you have it. After three quarters, it's 51-45. Orangeville Prep will be right back after a short break for the fourth quarter to see who's gonna claim the championship of the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. Welcome back to the championship game of the Father Henry Carr Early Bird Prep Classic. My name is Drew Banks, onpointbasketball.com, alongside Elias Spiehet, northpolehoops.com. This stream brought to you by Ill Minds Media. We want to thank Father Henry Carr head coach Paul Melnick for putting on a tremendous event. Definitely. 51-45, we're in the fourth quarter, the final game of the weekend. What do you think in terms of Henry Carr, Elias? How can they get back and close this gap? I think you got to try to find an answer for Giovanni. I don't think there is one, to be honest with you. But Charge. They got fortunate with that one. He's he's just so strong. Like everything looks looks like it's going to be a, an offensive foul on him. He just comes in with so much power. But to answer your question. They're going to really need to start pe their penetration game. They've shied away from it because of the, the amount of size in Orangeville. But I'm not saying penetrate to finish. Penetrate to get the defense to collapse on you a bit before the kickout happens. And hey, it's a six-point game. Lots of time to go. There's Harding. Harding has to look to shoot that. He can't just look to pass when he gets it in the middle. Koulibaly. Koulibaly almost drives into the defender there. Prentice to Hendricks. Throw that down, big man. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Make that rim buckle. 53-45, eight-point lead. Need some buckets now, FHC. Fourteen foul, that's Father Henry Carr's Cameron David. Also want to shout out my man Victor Paolo on the ones and twos on the microphone. Shouts out Ottawa. <laughs> Ottawa in the building. And we definitely know the people from Ottawa and across the country are checking out this action. Morgan, kind of quiet this game, gets to the basket. They need that. He's quiet right now. 
That's on Ben Hendricks with the foul. After coming off a 40-point game from Morgan, yeah, he's been borderline non-existent in this one. I believe he had a little nick or something, maybe ankle or something of that nature. Yeah, his ankle, he's had to get it taped up, so he's not quite the same as he was in that game. And it happened, I think, near the end of that game as well. Yeah, you saw him, you saw him really get off a lot of shots, create for himself, uh, you know, straight line drive, but that's not as possible with just the size and the length of Orangeville Prep. Going to be a different game. You got to change it up with that kind of length in the building. Here we go, Kulabali. Kulabali, Scott. Hendricks on the post. And that's a foul. Physical man ball right there. Foul is on Morgan. Orangeville Prep will inbounds, 53-46. 6 9 left in the fourth quarter. Hendricks up top. Kulabali fakes the three, pull up Jay Short. Okay, that's the break that Henry Carr needed right there. Here comes Morgan, snaky through the D, throws it up, blocked. And Morgan has a little bit of issue with his left wrist and forearm as well. Looks like he may have gotten a stinger. Jones comes in, takes out Hendricks. Pentis out. Matthew Alexander Moncrief in. We got a timeout on the floor called by Coach, sorry, the Henry Carr Crusaders. We're going to take a quick break. 53-46 is your score. Orangeville Prep in the lead. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back. We're back to the action. Hoop, hoop counts for Henry Carr. They trail 53-48. The championship game, it's only five. We got a big crowd in the building, as always. And next week, don't forget the Humber College Classic MPH. A big role in that tournament. Both a prep division and a high school division. Giovanni Scott with another bucket. He's making a case for the MVP right now, isn't he? He's also he, MVP, yes, and definitely for top 10 in the Canadian 2019 class. I'll tell you that much. Harding wants that shot. No good. Matthew Alexander Moncrief for the rebound. Shamar Rattan Mays. And there's the other guy that could be MVP as well. He's done it the whole tournament, scoring over 20 points pretty much every game. And not only that, he brings a lot to the table from an intangible standpoint. Things that don't show up on the stat sheet. The leadership, the camaraderie, keeping guys composed, all that kind of stuff. And right now, FHC doing a little too much. Keep the game simple. They're trying some cutesy passes down low. Yeah, you just got to keep swinging. Can't have guys taking seven, eight, nine dribbles and coming up with nothing. 57-48 is the score. 4.45 left, fourth quarter. Can FHC come back? 
Alexander Moncrief tries to pass, no good. Davies, David has it, number 14. Morgan, there's the David. Nice swing. Kobe Lamb, they need it. Oh, can't get it, but follows a shot. Oh, that pass is too much. Off of M.A. That pass is a little bit too much there. M.A.'s been kind of quiet again in this one. It's I know they got a lot of talent on the court, so it's not like every game you expect all five guys to come up with 15, 20 points. I, I guess that's a positive on this team. Oh, boy. Harding having a tough game. 57-48, it's a nine point lead, still in reach. FHC still has a chance to win this game. They gotta just buckle down the, oh boy. <laughs> Woo, Giovanni Scott. He is making a case for the best player on the floor in this championship game. Oh, Harding, you gotta look to the score. Morgan, that's a foul. That's a foul on Orangeville. Morgan to the line. That foul's on Giovanni Scott and that's a, his fifth foul. He fouled out of the game. Now, you still have 342. He was the guy, the main guy for Orangeville prep that was giving you trouble. It's a chance you're at the line to cut it to nine. Maybe put on a press, what do you think? Are you saying for, for Father Henry Carr to get back without Giovanni in there? I don't think you can press this team. I think it's easily broken through the middle of the floor. They have so many targets that they could place in the middle. I think you got Shamar, who's not going to buckle under pressure. You just got to play him out in the half-court set, but ensure that like if they're going to stay in the zone, you got to ensure that you're sliding in time. It's going to be tough, that's for sure. But if any team defensively can get it done, it's Father Henry Carr. But they got to make their free throws. Missed that first one. Second one is up. No good. Misses the second one as well. Double team, double team. Oh, nice tip. You got to get that ball after the tip. Fade away. Koulibaly, no good. Out of bounds. Still Father Henry Carr ball. 59-48. Oh, Johnson. Got to go strong in that hole. With the big man, Hendricks. Three minutes and seven seconds. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Shamar Rattan Mays, the double crossover, then the dish off to Matthew Alexander Moncrief for the slam. That was unbelievably beautiful. MA with the rebound. You love to see the passing ability of Shamar as well. Just a complete player at the point guard spot. Koulibaly. Moncrief with the travel. That's a good call. Steps. Two twenty-nine left. It's a 13-point lead. 61-48. Orangeville prep with the lead. Here's Morgan. Morgan. That's a foul. That foul is on Justice Prentice. 61-48.
Morgan, no good. Frustrating day for him, he can see that. Missing free throw, 61-48. And right now, a key for Henry Carr is there's five fouls on Orangeville Prep. They gotta take advantage. Here is Ratan May. Oh, that would have been a dagger for sure. Still got two minutes to go. Lamb, what a block there. Jones. Alexander Moncrief. Here's Jones. And a charge. The dunk is no good. Nice charge taken there. Courage Ogbiedi takes the charge. 61-48. A buck 45. They're going to have to move right now. No bucket. Offensive foul. Here's Morgan. Morgan is going up. He loses it. Ratan Mays. There it is. And that puts it up to 15. 63-48. Lamb, oh, gets his own rebound, puts it back up. What a play by Kobe Lamb. Kobe, Kobe started off really hot, kind of cooled down for him coming back from halftime. And now he's trying, but it's too little too late. Only a buck left. 63-50, but a valiant effort. They were right in this game. For the oh my, if he got that, that would have been the icing on the cake for Shamar Ratan Mays. Johnson loses it. <laughs> Guys dribbling down the court, very loosey goosey with the rock. Get low, control that rock. Turn your body to the side. Don't dribble open. Turnovers right there. You need the bucket. Kador in the game, number 32, takes out Lamb. O Prep gonna take the championship here. 63-50 is your score. Nice pass. Oh, the monster crush. Matthew Alexander Moncrief. High, high major player. Look at the height on that rebound. Here's Jones, puts it up. 67-50. Gotta put one up quick. Oh, nice try. And there you have it, that's it. The championship goes to Orangeville Prep. They lead, they win it 67-50 over the Father Henry Carr Crusaders. What a championship, what a tournament. Another year in the books. Drew E. Banks, Elias, your parting shot here. Uh, I mean, what can you say? They were right in the game, FHC, but just too much depth out there for Orangeville Prep. Shamar Rathan Mays, man. Shamar Rathan Mays all tournament. Look, without him on the floor, they have no control and they have no PG. I like Jefferson Kuliabi and I think he will develop eventually into a combo guard, a pure combo guard. But right now, without Shamar on the floor, there's no leadership, there's no, there's no setting up of the offense, there's no tempo. So the way I'm looking at it, that's my MVP for this tournament. I, wouldn't, I would not disagree with you right there. He got it done every single game. Shamar Rattan May. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll see if we can get back with uh, maybe the MVP uh, of the winning team right after this. Hang on. Hold on, and we'll be right back.
I think, I think we'll just call the captains to collect the shirts and the medals. Yeah, do us first. Do us first. We don't trust Morgan. If the crew seat is captain, Mr. Morgan can come out and grab the shirts and awards for the second place team. The whole team, the Morgan and the Crown Crusaders.
Jalen, I got more. Thank you. 